Hello everyone, this is Urvashi Chauhan. Welcome to Courts Today by Live Law. We bring you the latest and in-depth legal coverage. Here is a brief of what all happened in the Indian Courts today. Starting with the important update on the deployment of central forces in West Bengal during the Panchayat elections. As you already know that last week, the Calcutta High Court had directed the West Bengal State Election Commission, SEC, to requisition central forces for all districts in West Bengal for the 2023 Panchayat elections. The SEC moved the Supreme Court against this, saying it can only make an assessment of sensitive areas and cannot send requisition. Today, the Supreme Court has affirmed the Calcutta High Court's order. A vacation bench comprising Justice B.B. Nagratna and Justice Manoj Mishra dismissed the petition filed by State of West Bengal and the SEC challenging the directions passed by the High Court in a PIL filed by Leader of Opposition Suvendu Adhikari. The bench orally asked the SEC during the hearing as to why it was concerned with the source of the forces as its primary concern should be the free and fair conduct of elections. In another update, the Supreme Court vacation bench comprising Justice Surya Kant and Justice M.M. M. Sondaresh declined to urgently list the interlocutory application filed by Manipur Tribal Forum during the vacations. The bench turned down a plea to hear the matter tomorrow or day after tomorrow. The matter was mentioned by senior advocate Colin Gonzalez, who highlighted the urgency of the matter, stating that despite assurances given by the government to curb the violence, 70 tribals had been killed. And if the court did not hear the matter urgently, more tribals would be killed. To this, Solicitor General Tushar Mehta said that security agencies were on the ground. Similar prayers were being made before vacations. The bench expressed its disinclination to entertain the application during vacation and posted the matter for 3rd July. Stay tuned for further updates. The District Panchayat of Kannur in Kerala has filed an application in the Supreme Court seeking euthanizing of suspected rabid dogs or extremely dangerous dogs in a humane manner in light of the increased violent attacks by stray dogs in the district of Kannur. The application highlights that an 11-year-old autistic child was mauled to death by a pack of stray dogs earlier this month and that a similar incident had happened last year in the Kottayam district of Kerala where a minor aged 12 years had also died due to stray dog attack. A large number of dog bite incidents had been reported across the district, especially against children, and that 65 ducks and a large number of domestic animals had also been killed by the violent stray dogs recently in the state. And thus, the Panchayat has prayed the Supreme Court to direct euthanizing of suspected rabid and dangerous dogs in a humane manner. The Kerala High Court today issued notice to alleged RSS members said to be illegally encroaching premises of Sri Sarkara Devi Temple in Tiruvananthapuram for conducting mass drills and weaponry training. The plea, as you know, has been filed by two devotees and nearby residents of the temple stating that the action of the alleged RSS members is causing agony and difficulty to the devotees and pilgrims visiting the temple. A division bench comprising Justice Anil K. Nagarendra and Justice P. G. Ajit Kumar also sought response of the state government and the Travancore Devaswam board and posted the matter for further consideration on 26th of June. The Bombay High Court has directed the Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation, BMC, to prominently display its policy regarding animal sacrifice during religious ceremonies, as well as the email address and toll-free numbers for complaints on its website, at least during festivals where illegal animal sacrifice or slaughtering takes place. The division bench of Acting Chief Justice Nitin Jamdar and Justice Sandeep Marne also directed BMC to make the Grievance Redressal Forum regarding animal slaughters available to the citizens by way of email. The court was hearing a writ petition filed by NGO Jeev Maitri Trust in 2018 challenging various public notices issued by BMC regarding animal slaughter. 
Senior advocate Anil Sakhare, appearing for the BMC, informed the court that the policy was revised from time to time as per need and that BMC had given public notice in newspaper with a toll-free number for lodging complaints. The court also recorded his submission that once complaints were received on the helpline, email, etc., specific task force was available 24-7 to redress the issue. The Delhi High Court has rejected the bail plea of a teacher who has been accused of repeatedly raping his minor student and threatening to make video recording of it viral. The accused stands booked under Section 376 of IPC and Section 6 of the POCSO Act. The court said that there was forensic evidence strongly against the petitioner, including the forensic report, according to which petitioner's DNA matched the DNA found on the prosecutrix collected during investigation. The act of rape was committed multiple times at his house and at one hotel while she was a minor and continued even after she attained majority in January 2022. After the alleged last incident in June last year, a complaint was filed with the police and the FIR was registered. While denying the bail, Justice Anoop Jairam Bambani said that there was a possibility that the petitioner would influence witnesses or flee from justice or otherwise attempt to prejudice the trial of the case if he was enlarged on bail. The Manipur High Court has directed the state authorities to provide limited internet service to the public in some designated places under the control of the state authorities. An order to this effect was issued by Justice A. Bimal Singh and Justice A. Guneshwar Sharma while hearing a bunch of PILs seeking restoration of internet services in the state. As you know, internet ban has been continuing in the state since May 3rd due to the violence. Several orders extending the shutdown have been issued by the state government. The bench noted that internet was necessary for public to carry out urgent and essential services, especially with regard to the ongoing admission process of students. The court has also asked private telecom service providers to file affidavits explaining the feasibility of providing limited internet services by blocking social media websites in order to safeguard the state government's concern for maintaining law and order. The matter has been posted for further consideration on 23rd of June. Stay tuned. The former Principal Secretary to the Chief Minister of Kerala, M. Siva Sankar, has once again approached the Kerala High Court seeking interim bail for a period of three months on ground of ill health and to avail treatment at a private hospital of his choice. The plea has been moved after special court declined him bail. As you know, Siva Sankar is in custody in connection with the Life Mission money laundering case since his arrest by the Enforcement Directorate in February this year. He claims to be suffering from chronic spine-related respiratory and knee problems which require urgent medical attention. In May this year, the Supreme Court had granted him liberty to approach the special court for seeking interim bail in case of any kind of medical emergency. So he approached the special court, but his plea was declined on the ground that he had failed to demonstrate any element of emergency to be released on bail. It is in this context that the present plea has been moved for setting aside the special court's order rejecting interim bail. The Himachal Pradesh High Court has stated that under the Hindu Minority and Guardianship Act, the mother assumes the role of a natural guardian of minor children upon father's death. However, the mother's right to custody is not absolute. It depends upon the welfare of the children. If during appropriate proceedings she is found to be unfit or incapable of ensuring the welfare of children, she may lose the right to maintain custody of them. The observations came to be passed on a petition filed against an order by a sub-divisional magistrate directing the grandparents to hand over custody of the minor children to the mother. In this case, the husband committed suicide in July 2022. His father filed a complaint against the wife accusing her of subjecting his son to cruelty and leading to his suicide. Consequently, the wife was arrested on July 18th and was released on bail on July 27th. During this period, the children stayed with their grandparents. 
Following her release, she filed an application seeking custody of her children, which was granted by the subdivisional magistrate. Dissatisfied with this decision, the grandparents moved the High Court. The High Court has upheld magistrate's order and has said that allegation of mother having abetted the father of children to commit suicide is yet to be proved. In another update responding to a PIL seeking ban on use of loudspeakers in mosques, the state government has told the Gujarat High Court that sincere efforts were being made to regulate the use of loudspeakers. That joint enforcement teams constituted for noise level monitoring had been directed to strictly follow noise pollution rules in industrial, residential and other areas. The state said that the use of loudspeakers had to be allowed within the specified limits so as to balance the interests of all stakeholders involved, that is, the residents residing in vicinities where loudspeakers are being used and the parties using the loudspeakers, be it for religious purposes, during festivals or weddings, etc. The Chhattisgarh High Court has dismissed a public interest litigation which sought withdrawal of rupees 500 and rupees 200 notes from circulation and stopping reprint of all the denominations above rupees 200 in future. Mithilesh Kumar Sahu, the petitioner in person, submitted that corruption and fake notes were increasing and crores of rupees in cash had been recovered during the raids conducted by Enforcement Directorate. He argued that cash transactions were the main source of corruption. While terming the petition to be a publicity interest litigation, the division bench of Chief Justice Ramesh Sinha and Justice Rakesh Mohan Pandey said that the petitioner had no locus standi and was not an expert in the field for which this PIL had been filed. And lastly, the Sikkim High Court has disposed of a public interest litigation pertaining to the appointment of a practicing advocate, Sunil Sarogi, registered with the West Bengal Bar Council as the officer on special duty to the Chief Minister of Sikkim. The primary contention of the petitioner was that Sarogi, at the time of his appointment, was a practicing advocate. However, before the final hearing could take place, the state of Sikkim informed the bench of Chief Justice Biswanath Somdar and Justice Minakshi Madan Rai that Sarogi had submitted his resignation as OSD. Considering that the PIL revolved around the contested appointment of Sarogi, the court found no reason to proceed further. Thank you for watching. If you wish to know more details about the cases I mentioned here, you can visit our website at www.livelaw.in. Stay ahead with quick legal updates only on Live Law. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe and support us.